Hey guys, it's Shadow here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of can you stop or control the pelican on live fire? So, as you saw in one of my previous videos, the pelicans on live fire now actually take off and fly around the map ever since the season 3 update. And if you remember, the pelican flies out of the map around a corner and then once it gets to a certain point, it just shrinks down to nothing and pretty much despawns at that point. Uh, and we could even glitch out of the map and ride that pelican out of the map too and follow its path and basically see where it goes. But this pelican's basically on autopilot. You know, we, we can't, we couldn't really, we can't destroy it anymore like we could in, in the older versions of Infinite or anything like that. So we wanted to see if we could, you know, just stop the pelican or somehow take control of it because it is technically still a vehicle. So. With that in mind, the first simple experiment we did was just placing a giant floor in front of the pelican and see what happens. Does it phase right through it? Does it avoid it? Well, it just actually flies right into it and well, it, it's struggling to like try to get through it, but it never does and it does get stuck at this point. And it, we waited quite a while actually, but the pelican never despawns or shrinks down, which tells us that the pelican there are certain like invisible like triggers around the map to uh, control the pelican's flight path or like its actions and if it because it never hits those it doesn't you know do those actions so it won't shrink down or anything like that as long as we keep the pelican here so with that in mind now we can see if we can control the pelican or control its path and keep it from going out of the map and despawning or shrinking down so what we did here in this case was uh, my friend ThunderMG actually built a whole like pathway here for the pelican and we also did one other experiment at the same time we put a couple kill balls here to see if they could destroy the pelican or stop it but the pelican just passes right through the kill balls um, but yeah that uh, doesn't affect it but we could somewhat control its path but it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really follow the path because it's still trying to go to like its predetermined point. So it just gets stuck along the wall here and it was quite, it's quite difficult to control it this way. So we tried something else. We discovered that the Pelican, some, te some certain types of teleporters, as in the standard teleporter, not invisible teleporters, but a standard one, can teleport the Pelican. As you can see here, the Pelican takes off and it goes to the teleporter and it gets teleported across the map. So with that in mind, we can now control the pelican using teleporters and we put the pelican on a loop here of teleporters it teleports through we, we change its flight direction actually and it uh it flies into another teleporter going back to the first one and it basically on an infinite loop here and now that we know it's, it's on a predictable infinite loop we uh we place the uh the end cutscene stance for our characters in front of the path of the pelican so we could see what happens if the pelican slams into our characters during the end scene. But I've already done a video on that in the past uh, to determine if you can like die during that ending cutscene or, or if anything can affect you. And I tried kill balls and stuff like that, but nothing does. And it's the same in this case. The pelican does not uh, affect you in that cutscene either. So there you guys have it. The answer is yes, you can stop and somewhat control the pelican on live fire. And with that in mind, there is a second pelican on that map. So we got one more video coming up soon with these kind of experiments. So do stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, found it to be interesting, make sure to leave a like. I'll leave thoughts in the comments. Anything else you want to check out, look into, or any other experiments you want me to try, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.